what was good and why. Now this is a, I think the why is very interesting because, you know, sometimes I have, I make a speech, I have people come up to me and say, Ranjit, that speech was amazing. And then I ask them, you know, what did, what did you like about it? No, I just liked it. <laughs> and that's when you realize, wait a minute, have they really listened? Or they just, you know, they looked and they said, thought, they just liked it. But, but Toastmasters, we're different, you know. We have the ability to not just say what is good, but we also tell them why. I'm just going to give you an example of, you know, for those who have seen the workshop, maybe it's a repetition, but I, I like that one, you know. Now, let's say Lorenzo makes a very emotional speech. He makes a very emotional speech about his grandmother. And then we go, uh, we go and tell Lorenzo, you know, we loved your speech because it was very emotional. When you talked about my grandmother, I felt like I was sitting next to my grandmother. And I felt that emotional connection. So I've actually told him why I like his speech with a very concrete example. So that's what we're looking for, not just what was good, but why. There are some speakers who can do it, and do it very well. You know, they can sit and bring the energy to them. But let's assume this is a speaker who sits like this and says, I'm making a speech, please listen to me. This is point one, point two, point three. Thank you for listening, bye. <laughs> uh, and then you could tell them, hey, we have a stage here. We have a stage. You could take a step to your right, look at the person in, the, in front of you, make a point to them, step to the left. Step to the left, and you can talk to this person here, say something to them, make a message clear, and then come back. You have a chance to use your stage. Just by taking one step to the right, one step to the left, you could just take, move a bit out of your comfort zone. Let's assume this was person was introvert. You're telling them what they can do better and how. And the how is a simple how. One step to the right, one step to the left. So make sure that next time you tell somebody that you can do something better, tell them how. And most people, when you sit down in a place, let's say this is an audience which is new to me, sir. Half of you have not listened to me before. So I'm a new speaker. So your, your mind says, I need to tune into this person for a while. You know, when I move into the radio, I have my favorites and I jump into a, my favorite channel to listen to salsa, and I immediately tune in. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the same with you as listeners. You can learn how to tune, tune in into a speaker. And for that, you need practice. So, one of the things that I did, which worked for me, when I was in a contest, was go and visit three or four clubs. And I went and started listening to speakers I've never listened before. What this does is, you sit down, You've never seen this person before, he starts talking and you want to tune in. You want to tune in within 15 seconds. A speaker's message is given in the first 30 seconds. If you need more than 15 seconds to tune in into a person, you're going to possibly lose his opening message. Which means we need to increase the speed in which we tune in into a person's speech as fast as possible. And the only way to do it is to listen to more speeches. My dancing teacher always told me, to make your dance good, you have to make your dancing partner shine. And that's a very interesting thing. I mean, you have dancers who go in a, in a pair dance, and then go and pull off a scene where you think, you know, wait a minute, is he dancing with her or is he just dancing for himself? <laughs> but if the dancer can make his dance partner shine, you've already created a unit. And I think that's what we have. We have something unique when we have a speaker and evaluator. We have a couple who are joined in the hip. Now, if you look at your agenda, you see every speaker has an evaluator. You have the opportunity to make your speaker shine. I think we have three speakers today. We have three evaluators who have the opportunity to make their speakers shine. So I'll be watching all the evaluators today. How you make your speaker shine. 
It's just like a dance. If you can make your speaker shine, you become successful as an evaluator.